why spend thousands of rubles for a gun, when you can have everything for less what a face mask costs you? Also known as the little brother of the loud stick, has underrated damage, is pure satisfaction when you hit, chats spend more money killing you than what they gain out of your dead body, and scavs seem to have mastered the ability to snipe across space and time to deliver you some beautiful head eyes. Today we talk about why you should be playing the TOTS 106. Now let's get one of the biggest weaknesses of the TOTS right out of the way, and that's modability. You can choose between free stocks, but they don't really change the stats in a way that we would notice. Then you have free magazines to choose from, and that just pick the biggest one you have available. The bigger ones come with Jaeger level 2, so not too much to choose here, and you can't change the pistol grip either. But what you can do, you can mount a scope. And there, you can mount pretty much everything. And when I say everything, I really mean everything. <laughs> you could even mount a thermal scope on that little bad boy. But usually, you wanna go with something like a Cobra side or the Iron side. It's pretty good. Now we come to the biggest plus of the Tots, and that's its affordability. You can get the weapon for only 7k rubles at Jaeger, and on the flea market probably even less. So imagine in raid you come across a fuel container and a face shield. That's 60k rubles, that's more tots than you ever gonna need. Scaf's already got that concept. What the hell? In terms of insurance, never have to worry again. Because usually, you get all your tots back. You'll have enough tots for the rest of the wipe. Then, let's have a look at the bullets. But there, there are two bullets that are really viable. That's first, the 7.5mm buckshot ammo, and it does a lot of flash damage. It can't really penetrate armor, but it shreds it insanely fast, we will look at that later, where we will go into more detail. And then we have the Poleva slug, 3 or 6. The 6er is only available at Jaeger level 2. It has decent flash damage, but again, it struggles with armor. But with the slug ammunition, you can kinda snipe with a shotgun. Now, while these stats aren't amazing, you have to keep in mind that if you want the same thing with an AK, so let's say we only pick 10 BS bullets, those 10 BS bullets cost already as much as the whole TOTS with ammunition and spare magazines. So for that price, that's actually pretty good. Now let's talk about the close range and sniping capabilities of TOTS. Again, close range with buckshot, it's absolutely devastating, it hurts like hell. <laughs> And even on mid-range, the buckshot can do a pretty good job, or can potentially one-shot the target. If you imagine a health bar, that thing turns red pretty fast. Another cool thing about the TOTS is that the weapon is pretty short, so you don't have problems peeking around corners. The weapon also doesn't get stuck in doors or tight spaces in general. Combined with the high ergonomics the weapon has, so the ADS time is pretty low, it makes it an ideal weapon for indoor usage. So it's actually not uncommon to have very good runs on Factory for example, and the flash damage is gonna be very high. <laughs> the only problem here is, you have to HIT your shots, <laughs> because if you miss, the only alternative is your knife. In other maps, for example customs, where range fights are more common, you'll probably use the slug ammunition. And with that, it's still a very viable weapon. All it needs is one well-placed shot into his eye, and there he goes. Or just shoot his leg until he can't walk anymore. Either way, this guy's body was pretty pissed about the end result. But if you come across an armored enemy, try to shoot something else than the armor, because that's not very effective, to put it lightly. So, we did some testing and, you know, while I fully trust him, safety first. So he's gonna shoot buckshot armor into my chest while I'm wearing a level 4 armored rig. And as you can see, every single shot depletes the armor durability by exactly 8. Every single one. Now let's compare this to the slug ammunition. Here I'm wearing only a level 3 body armor, so way worse. But as you can see, it is less damage than with the buckshot before. The reason for that, with Buckshot, 8 pallets leave the barrel. And the way the game currently works, is that whatever hits an armor, depletes its durability by at least by 1. And there it doesn't matter how weak the projectile is. So if 8 weak pallets hit the armor, it depletes its durability by 8. Doesn't matter how weak those are. So that means the armor loses 8 durability. Even a level 
five or six body armor would act that way. This might get changed in the future and if so, it's in the comment section down below. Alternatively, you can of course just pick up the gun of whoever you killed and end his friends with his own gun. Or just shoot at him until he has pretty much every single bone broken and bleedings and can't move anymore at all. <laughs> just be aware of your weakness and with the TOTS bolt action rifle that's actually after each shot you have to reload. So open fights where the enemy can shoot you while reloading isn't ideal. Try to use cover or some disguise that gives you enough time to reload one more time. Or just hope that he ignores it for whatever reason. <laughs> Some bonus, one of the best feelings with the TOTS is whenever you encounter a chat, instead of being frustrated you make a game out of it and it's called how much rubles can I make this guy waste on my 7k TOTS. Now that guy here, he had BS ammo, so that was a lot of money and I was just like okay that's 30k rubles, oh again, oh nice, oh another 30k, nice, nice. Okay, where is he? Oh, a nade, 10 more, oh a second one, nice. A third one! 30,000, nice! You know what, have on back. Ah, and another spray, that's 10 more. And don't forget my nade. <laughs> it's just hilarious. It makes dying so much less frustrating. And lastly, you look way manlier with the Tots. So what are you waiting for? Join the Tots Brotherhood. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video then leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun YouTube stuff. It definitely helps me out a lot as this video took a long time to make. And I know it doesn't seem that way but uh, anyway. <laughs> See you on the next video. Bye bye.